Good morning. This will be part two of my solar panel install. <laughs> I laugh at the word install because it should be more of a solar panel lay down. That's all I did was lay it down on top of my van. But anyway, uh, one person asked about um, an air gap. A lot of you have probably heard that there needs to be an air gap between your solar panel and the top of your um, van. Um, for, it is true that if there isn't an air gap, it can affect the quality of your um, uh, charging your solar panel. And I've heard that being in direct contact with the top of the van could um, uh, damage the solar panel. I think the chances of that are minute. I mean, could it happen? Yes. I'm not worried about it. Um, a lot of times also people use uh, the rigid solar panels for uh, shade. You know, if you cover the top of your van with a solar panel off, you know, the roof of your van that far, yes, you're providing shade and it does help with heat heat in your van. Um, I'm not worried about that because, you know, I'm not full time and don't really go out camping when it's super hot. So, um I think taping it to the top of the van, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you do you. Um, also, you know, I mentioned that I might be putting the cables through the side window. Um, a couple people mentioned leaking. Of course, I will test that out before I leave it that way. I don't know. I may go, go through the hatch instead of the side window. I haven't decided yet. But today I'm going to show you what else I got to go with this um, solar panel. Um, when you have a solar panel, you have to have a charge controller. Now, my other, my foldable solar panel has a, has a built-in charge controller, my suitcase panel. Um, this I bought, uh, and you have to have that so your battery doesn't uh, get too hot, doesn't charge too much. So let me show you what I got. Okay, I'm going to show you the charge controller kit I got. It came just like this in the bag. This is the charge controller. We are going to connect the solar panel connectors to these connectors. I think these are called, oh, don't quote me on it. I want to say MCT connectors, but don't quote me on that. I don't, I can't remember for sure. And then this will go to the battery. So, super easy. Now, the problem I have, this is pretty heavy. Um, I remember my van is a no-build build, so I haven't drilled any holes or made any kind of permanent um, changes to my van. Well, except for the solar panel on top of my van with um, what's that tape called? Um, anyway, that super, super, super sticky, um, tape that is not going anywhere ever. Uh, I had thought about using double-sided tape like the, um, 3M VHB tape, but this is pretty heavy. I don't think that's going to hold this up. So I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to connect this yet, but let's go out and see. Oh, by the way, this is, 
this is what goes to the battery. Let me see if I can get this. This is part of the kit. And this connects to this, male and female. And then it's just got the alligator clips for the battery itself. Super simple, you guys. Anyone can do this. And um, a lot of people yesterday had never heard of or seen the flexible panels. It works either way, flexible or uh, the rigid panels. They're, they're all the same. Um, you know, different connectors. How? <laughs> These things are sharp. Um, so anyway, yeah, this just connects to this and then that goes to your battery. So the solar charges the battery and this controls the charge. Hence the name charge controller. Okay, let's go see. Okay, so here are the cables from the solar panel. They're going through this window. If I decide to leave them there, I will test this. I will pour water on here to see if it leaks. I, um, in my first van, when I first moved into it, I had my uh, battery cables going through my passenger side front door from my um, uh, engine and had no problem. Somebody asked about fraying, fraying. No, I had no problem. The only issue I'm worried about, I'm not worried about hurting these cables, I'm more worried about leaking. Um, so we'll see. A couple people mentioned that there might be a way to go through, hold on, I need to get my stool. Um, that there might be a way to go through here. Um, not really seen it, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't decided yet how exactly the cables are going to go into the van. There is something called a boot. And I'll show you a picture of it right here. But that involves drilling holes in the top of your van and, um, and all that. And if I had a cargo van, I wouldn't think twice about it. But this is a nice new passenger van, and I really don't want to make any permanent, um, uh, you know, I don't want to put any holes in it unless I absolutely have to. I may end up having to do that, but time will tell. We'll see. For now, the cables are going to go either through this window or the hatch. So these are the cables coming in the window through the um, uh, from the solar panel. And I'm going to connect these connectors. To the connectors on the charge controller. I'm sure there's a right and a wrong way to do this. Maybe not. can't tell if there's a right and a wrong way to connect the... Oh! Okay, goes right in. Goes right in. So now the charge controller is connected to the solar panel. And now we're going to... Okay, now 
we're going to sorry my tripod is on my bed um, we're going to connect these two connectors simple as that and now for now I'm going to keep these alligator clips on here um, I may change them out at some point for a different kind of a connection uh, but for now this is going on the battery terminals and now you can see that it is charging the battery. So in the instructions, it says that if it's a, fla a fast flash of the red light, it, it is MPPT charging. And that's what it's doing right now. If it's a slow fash, fast <laughs> flash, it's float char charging. And then it says if it's just a flash, whatever that means, um, five, half a second by half a second, it's equal or boost charging. I have no idea what that means, and I'm really not, you know, not too worried about it. If the blue light is on, the battery is normal. If the blue light flashes, it's over temperature. So you would want to um, unhook it at that point. With the charge controller, though, that shouldn't be a problem. And I know there's probably a lot of people out there that know a whole lot more about this than I do. So if I'm wrong, please do correct me. Um, so let's go back out and look at the um, charge controller. So the blue light is steady. So that means that the battery is normal. The red light is a fast flash, which means that it's charging. And the green light uh, says battery capacity, red, orange, green, or green. I, I have no idea what that means. But like I said, I'm not worried about it because I know it's working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, several people asked me how I... I actually connect my refrigerator to the battery and it's so simple because um, set power includes that cord for battery charging um, the one thing I do have to get in order to make this happen is is this so my refrigerator came with this, the 12 volt plug. And it already has a, um, oh, what's it called? You know, the thing that makes it go off if something happens. Oh, come on. You guys will tell me. I know. Anyway, so this needs to be plugged into a 12-volt plug. And then this also goes on the battery. And I'm not sure if that... Okay. See, there's not a lot of room on here for multiple I need to get another um, nut for this side somehow I've misplaced it but This is not
So, like I said, I am going to switch out these alligator connectors at some point. Right now, it's not an issue. Um, but as you can see, there are two alligator clips on. And if they come undone, that means my refrigerator turns off. But it's working perfectly right now. And yes, it's 83 degrees because, you know, it's 110 degrees out here like, like usual. Um, so... There you go. My refrigerator is connected to my car battery. And just so you know, this is actually not an actual car battery. It's an RV and um, boat battery. It's a deep cycle. Um, it's not sealed. And like I said, several people are worried about the uh, um, toxins and the gases. I'm not worried about that. So don't worry about it for me, okay? Because I always have a window open. Okay. That's where the cables come in from the window. I'm going to pour a glass of water and we will see if it leaks. Oh boy, does it leak. So, as you can see, that's not gonna work because it did leak inside the van. Um, so, I will have to figure out another way to do that. Okay, so now I put the cables from the solar panel through the hatch. It just tucked in there and connected to the charge controller. Um, we will do another test with the water. Okay, now I'm going to close the door and uh, see if we have another leak. Did any water come in? Yes. Oh, darn it. Okay, you guys. I don't know what's... Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I may have to get a boot after all. Well, shoot. So, that's a fail. But at least now you know how to hook up the solar to the battery to the refrigerator and I'm gonna work on this uh, water issue I don't know I know a lot of people thought that there were holes that it could go in I don't see any holes up there but anyway that's the general idea this is a fail but now you have an idea of how to hook it up thanks for watching you guys